Now, folks, this problem with ideal. In this video, I want to discuss the electrical noise or EMI that you may pick up with the new line of digital multimeters, clamp meters, or fork meters from ideal. It is caused by the meter's ability to auto range, its resolution, and sensitivity. Here I have the 61 357, 61 557, 61 415, and 61 757. All of them are set to read AC voltage. You will notice with no leads plugged into the testers that these three are reading a very small amount of voltage, around a few millivolts, while the 61 557 here is reading zero. That again has to do with the tester's resolution, and the 61 557 has a 600 count display, which has a resolution down to one full volt and is not capable of reading millivolts while these other three testers have 6,000 count displays and can measure down to millivolts. They are sensitive enough to pick up electrical noise radiated from nearby energized electrical systems like the wiring in the walls, lighting ballasts, TV screens, or other sources of electrical noise in a building. The inputs of the testers are acting like small antennas and can detect this small amount of radiated voltage. You will notice as I plug the leads into the testers that they will detect a higher amount of electrical noise and the leads are acting like an even larger antenna. This is normal and nothing is wrong with the testers and is what you would expect from testers with this kind of resolution and sensitivity. There is no useful voltage present and I can cancel out the noise by touching the leads together. The meter nulls out and reads zero voltage indicating that there is no voltage. So that is why the testers are picking up that electrical noise or EMI and again nothing is wrong with the testers. This effect is totally negated when a typical voltage is measured and displayed. As always please read and fully understand the manuals for these testers before using them. I'm wrong with ideal. I'll see you on the next one.